Hello, my name is Raul Garcia Castro, and in this video, we are going to provide an overview of the Sarif ontology. The main motivation of the Sarif ontology is the fragmentation in the IoT landscape. Anyone wanting to build a smart IoT application will require first to interchange and to use information from others, whether these others are people or machines. But apart from interchanging information, it requires understanding in an unambiguous way such information. For this reason, we need standard data models that enable interchanging not only information, but also the meaning of such information to avoid misinterpretations between senders and receivers. Therefore, the first goal of Saref is to serve as a coherent and cohesive semantic model for IoT systems. But apart from that, if we are dealing with IoT infrastructures, we also need to bring a common understanding across cross-domain heterogeneous IoT infrastructures. And then, if we think of different IoT solutions that may appear, the idea is to enable interoperability between these IoT solutions that are coming from different providers and belonging to different sectors. This is the roadmap of SAREF. SAREF started in 2013 in a study launched by the European Commission and the ETSI Technical Committee Smart M12. Over years, the development of the SAREF ontology has taken place inside ETSI in different specialist task forces devoted uh, to the development and extension of SAREF. So here we can see how right now we have three different versions of the Saref ontology published in 2015, 17, and 2020. And over time, we have been developing different extensions on the ontology that cover different domains. In parallel to this, there has been an initiative in Etsy to also provide all the framework that enables the reuse and the collaboration of the different stakeholders with the Saref ontology. Okay. To do so, um, the Saref Forge was deployed, and the Saref ontology portal has been set up and put in work that collects the development workflow to be followed when using the Saref ontology, or any of the extensions. Saref tries to collect all these common set of terms, relationships, and axioms that may enrich the building of semantic applications. In the core of Saref is the concept of device, device that accomplishes different tasks and that offers different services. These services represent functions that have different commands that, at the same time, act upon different states of the device. The device, the device part is key for Saref, but also the second key part is the measurement, the concept of measurement, where some device makes a measurement of some property of a feature of interest. Apart from this, in Saref we can define profiles of devices related to the different commodities. We can further describe devices in Saref. We already mentioned the services, functions, and so on. We can also say state some attributes, such as the manufacturer, the model. We can define devices that consist of other devices. So we have different ways of defining devices so they can be useful for different uses. Regarding the measurements, the measurements allow me to define over time the different values that are measured by a device. These measures refer to some properties 
that usually belong to specific features of interest. So with this part, we can define not only the measurements, but also the relationships with the device, with the different properties and features. We mentioned that Saref uh, offers different functions, and we define a hierarchy of four different functions, event functions, sensing functions, metering functions, and actuating functions that cover the different capabilities that the device may have. For the actuating ones, we define a common set of common functions, such as on-off, open-close, and so on. These functions are tightly related to the commands. They are executed through commands that tap upon states of the device, and we can see here how we can have the open command, close command, and so on. The state of the device, coupled to these commands, we have we can have the devices in different states, on, off, open, close, and so on. And we already mentioned the profile. So we can we can define for devices different energy profiles that usually cover the commodities and related to a set also of properties. Sharef is not intended to be used as an ontology itself, but it is intended to be used as an umbrella ontology that is able of interchanging and integrating data from different sectors. It's already uh, aligned with the one m 2 m based ontology. And over time, different extensions have been developed in order to increase the scope of this umbrella. No? You can think of it as a glue that helps me collecting information that is cross-sectorial. So right now, Saret has 10 different extensions covering buildings, energy, environment, agriculture, smart city, industrial manufacturing, wearables, water, automotive, and e-health and aging well. Users of Saref can choose either to use only one ontology if they are focusing on a single use case in a, in a domain, in a specific sector, or we can, they can combine different ontologies. And that is what is usually required nowadays. If we want to see an example, here we have Saref for Water. Here we can see the ontologies that are reduced by Saref for Water. Saref for Water reduces, of course, Saref Core ontology, but it also reduces Saref for City, Saref for Systems, and other well known standard ontologies such as the W3C Time Ontology or the OGC GeoSparkle Ontology. And then, if we want to instantiate, for example, a water meter, we can define it with different attributes that either come from Saref Core, such as Hash Model and Hash Manufacturer, or have been explicitly defined for this ex extension that is, um, implements the MBAS standard, such as the firmware version or the radio frequency in which it operates. For the water meter, we, have, we can define the geospatial location and also different things, such as the different measures that we can make out of the meter, that we can do it with SARE. For example, we can define the property of the water meter, such as the battery remaining time, and have a measurement that tells us that in a certain date, uh, the remaining time of the battery is of 27 months. Water meters will provide me with different water measurements. And for this, we just need to reduce uh, the Saref measurement concept 
apply to our specific use case. Here we can see one example where in the top we can see a measurement of the flow volume, 127 liters, in a specific moment of time. And in the bottom side we can see another measurement of another property, and the external temperature, that is telling me that is 24.5 uh, Celsius degrees, but this time instead of in a specific moment of time, in an interval of time. By reducing, as we mentioned before, the different, ex the different extensions of Salef, we can enrich our model and our data. For example, by reducing all the part related to the definition of key performance indicators that appears in Saref for City, the extension of Saref for smart cities, we define, for example, for a distribution system, a specific infrastructure for distributing water, the key performance indicator of the minimum pressure level. We define this indicator in general with the name, with the duration of one week, but we can also define the assessments made for this key performance indicator. We can tell that this assessment refers to the city of Madrid that covers a specific temporal interval that is based, that is derived from different existing measurements and that has some value, for example, in this case, that the minimum pressure level is maintained in the infrastructure. We mentioned already in the roadmap that the development of the Saref ontology is open. It's open to not only for people for reduce the ontology, but also for people for contributing to the ontology. So the entry point for the Saref ontology and its extensions is the Saref ontology portal. That is online at saref.etc.org. There, anyone interested in the ontology can find all the resources uh, needed for using the ontology. Can find the technical specifications where the different extensions of the Saref Core ontology have been defined. There is also HTML documentation for the ontology based on these technical specifications with a user-friendly view with examples of the different ontologies. In the Forge, we have the version control system that collects all the artifacts using the, the development of the Saref ontology and its extensions, the source code, the requirements of the ontology, the different tests being performed where the ontology and examples of use of the ontology. And finally, it also contains the issue tracker that is the main communication point with the community where people can introduce their change requests, either for correcting some defect uh, in the ontology, in the documentation, in any of the artifacts, or even to propose a new extension for Saref.